Hey everybody, this is Daniel Ortiz, uh, back for another one here. Today we're going to be talking about the TV show called Them that came out on Amazon Prime this last week. Um, it, it stars uh, Deborah Ayerinde, I hope I said that right, and also Ashley Thomas. And it centers around a black family that moves into a predominantly white neighborhood and they start becoming um, uh, attacked by different forces within their house and outside of their house. So uh, this show was extremely interesting. I thought it was very poignant. Uh, before the show even came out, I was very interested in it. I didn't see too many uh, trailers and wanted to stay away from that because I um, wanted to just experience it on my own. And um, one of the things that I saw online with a lot of people stating that they were tired of seeing a lot of black trauma porn. And I, I try to ignore those type of statements. You know, some things need to be seen and we need to understand certain things. But I, I can't lie. This show is filled with a lot of black trauma porn. There's a lot of things going on in this one. Um, it, it was uh, increasingly difficult for me to watch this this show not stating that it's bad at all. It was a very good show. I think it was very well done. Um, I thought the cinematography was great. The acting was great. The the little girl that was in the show was very impressive to me too. Uh, her name is uh, Melody Hurd. That she was the the cutest little thing, and I, I found it very very interesting that she was able to really play through this entire show at, with such an aggressive topic. But um, did a great job acting. I just love that little girl. So I, I love to see her again and doing some more things. But um, a lot of trauma in this one. There was a lot of trauma. And it, it was very unforgiving. I, I don't think I've really seen too many um, shows or movies that have uh, really delved into the black struggle more than something like this. Every single character that was in this family was going through some type of trauma and um, they were either sharing the same trauma or going through a few of them there on their own. Um, don't want to give away too much. And there was a lot of folks that had a lot of uh, issue and were cut to the core with episode five. But for me, episode nine was probably one of the more traumatic ones that, that really affected me. So that was a, a very hard watch for me. I, I was trying to binge it all in one day. I, I just couldn't do it. I watched four episodes and I watched three more and literally had to say, you know, I, I'm stopping right now because there's so much information to absorb that I didn't want that all just being weighed upon me at one time. So I really did have to give it a little bit of a break. But um, the acting was great. Another person that was good was Allison Pill, who uh, played Betty Wendell, who was the next door neighbor that was probably the the, the biggest antagonist of the show. But uh, one of the cool things that I, that they did in this show is that they actually showed the trauma she was going in and uh, going through. So a lot of people, everybody was pretty much going through traumas in the show. Everybody had secrets. Everybody had their own battles within. And um, at times it did become a little much where it was it was very hard to deal with. But also what I really liked about the show is that they pinpointed specific things that uh, were racially motivated. Um, some, some things like the FHA not giving black people loans and redlining, things of that nature. They really just per personified those things. And just a lot of struggles that a lot of people were going through, uh, whether it was the 1800s or, you know, during the, the, the set time of this show, which I believe was about the 1950s, 1960s. But um, Overall, I thought the show was very good. Um, I really did like it. It, it was a, 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 a mental exercise. Um, I, I will warn you that it, it does have some very, very triggering and very highly sensitive uh, scenes that, that just, they were, they were very graphic and uh, hard to watch at the same time. Um, and, and you you really put yourself in the shoes of these these characters and it was hard to see them going through some of the things that they were going through and um, yeah it was it was a difficult watch but it was a I think it was still a very necessary watch I'm gonna give this one a B uh, the only reason I give it that grade is because I did feel that there was um, a lot of disjointment at times it took a while for for you to understand what's going on it probably took about six episodes before you're like piecing everything together 
And sometimes that works. And in this case, it doesn't because there were so many different stories that were going on that it made it hard to follow everything that everybody was doing. And, you know, we jumped from one character to another with an episode. So uh, uh, the one episode nine um, that that was more traumatic for me, um, I thought that one was good because it actually just stood on one story that, that made it easier to follow. But by the end, I was I was almost broken by that episode. But um, the disjointness of it was a little bit difficult. Also, um, there were some stories that didn't make sense. It felt like some things were wedged in. Some traumas were wedged in a little bit and didn't make sense how they were related to the supernatural part. But um, overall, I still think that the show uh, really, really tackled uh, and 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 really, really got to to the point that it was trying to hammer home. But um, for some people, it may be a little too much. And I totally understand that for, for me, it was a little much. But um, as I said, I enjoyed the show. It looks like it's an anthology series. So um, I expect a different story when uh, season two comes out. I hope it's not as aggressive as the first one, because I think two seasons or something like that would be pretty difficult. But overall, B, love the show. Um, just like, share and subscribe. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a good one, guys.